how to uh, turn our computer keyboard into a piano. Um, a few weeks ago I wanted to learn how to read sheet music um, so I can actually play a real instrument like a piano, a guitar, or a ukulele but I didn't know how to read the damn music first so I didn't want to buy an instrument uh, and I thought of if I can uh, learn how to use it uh, just using my keyboard then maybe in the future I'll buy one anyways that's the backstory but how do you get to set this up here so I'll show you the programs that you need to install first uh, first thing you want to do is install these programs here uh, it should be all in either the official or community repositories if you're running a, an arch based system here so uh, VMPK that's our piano program we use and Fluisive is a synthesizer and like I said, I don't know anything about music. I never actually had any uh, background in music. But from my reading of Wikipedia, a synthesizer is basically an emulator for all the instruments, like the piano I'm going to use. And so this is like a backend program. Now the front end to that is called QSynth. So this is like a GUI, pretty clicky clicky program that you can use here. Um, and then sound font, uh, which is what we're going to need to use to have sounds and stuff like that, right? Anyways, how do we do this here? First of all, you want to bust out QSynth, and this is our synthesizer, right? It's the front end here. And what you want to do is go to Setup, and you want to set up your audio, uh, what is that, your audio driver. Uh, depends on what your default is, but most Linux systems, they use Pulse Audio by default, so that's what you want to change there. Uh, if it's already now checked it over there. Uh, the next thing is you go to the sound fonts here and you want to find your sound fonts. Now if you don't know where the hell it is, uh, you can always bust out your locate command. What is that? Locate sound font. Because after you install the packages, um, you know, they don't tell you where it's located at. But here you go, you have USR share sound font and fluid r3 blah 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 dot sf2 is that for street fighter 2 who knows but um that's where you want to look for so you go open and you find that location which i already did here and you select that file and then you hit open and that's it right i already have it so i don't need to do it but that's all you gotta do for uh that portion and after you hit okay and everything you want to hit restart or i think you hit quit and then open the program again it just needs to uh, restart the program or, or something like that. Um, that's about it for that portion. And as far as the other one, VM uh, PK here, which stands for Virtual MIDI Piano Keyboard. Okay. Uh, in here, um, you want to go to File, Import, Sound Font. Same thing again that we did before. But in here in the input file, you want to search for. Um, what was that location? Uh, sound font, I mean. In here, you know, you go to USR share sound font, and then you find that same file that we did for the other program, and then you hit open, so on and so forth. I already have it, so don't need to load it again. Uh, cancel all of that, and in here, edit. Um, I think MIDI connections here or something. Make sure this one is uh, where it says output MIDI connections is fully sent. If you have something else, then you know they might be in there but I only have fluid synthos automatically already uh, selected for us okay and that's how you do and this is the program you can actually either use your mouse to click on it if you want or you can use your keyboard and play it here right so that's all you gotta do as far as some of the options in here um, I don't know basically any of this because I have no background in music so don't ask me music questions uh, but in here they do have some helper if you're like kinda new to uh, you know these type of uh, reading notes and stuff like that so in here this was kinda helpful to me says the notes name because uh, if you look at like this blank I, I don't know what notes they are um, you know, so on and so forth. Well, I did learn from uh, from watching some YouTube videos on people how to find the 
the middle C here. Basically two black keys and it's usually always a C right there. Two black keys here, C, so on and so forth. Two black keys and then the C is always there. So I think this one C4 here, this is the middle C. And as far as, uh, I think this is the, the bass here, right? These are the bass after that and this is uh, the treble clef I believe. Uh, as far as on your keyboard, you know, it's kind of weird because your keyboard doesn't go really long. It goes, you know, downward with all the keys, right? Uh, for, so from Z, X, C to beyond, that's basically your bass. And where it says Q, W, E, R, T, whatever, uh, that's your treble clef. And... What is that the keys above that uh, above each one of them like a what is that I mean SD and all that those are your black keys uh, so that's about it for that uh, they do have different programs that you can choose from so that's one was from the Yamaha grand piano but they do have like different ones like uh, guitar and stuff like that so let's say we do this nylon string guitar or whatever all right uh, what else is in here a harmonica <laughs> uh, what else is there they do have harp so different you know programs you can emulate in here not just the piano but generally it's for a piano anyways if you want to try it out to uh, learn how to read sheet music or something like that I wouldn't really recommend it for actually playing songs because your hand would be one on top of another uh, trying to play on your keyboard but just know that you could if you really wanted to without actually buying different instruments for it anyways uh, that's it for this uh, virtual mini piano keyboard program that's all for this one